Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we're gonna to take a look at the Sephora sale. So we're gonna take a look at my recommendations for things that are sold at Sephora. And one thing to note, you know, just because the Sephora sale is going on does not necessarily mean it is the best place or time to purchase items. So I will kind of let you know as we're going through that if I think that there is a better option. And honestly, the Sephora sale is really only gonna be good for those people who are rouge tier. So that's gonna be 20% off, whereas VIB is 15% off and Insider is 10% off. So with the Sephora savings event, you can actually purchase as many times as you would like, but every Rouge member will get one invitation to essentially invite a friend and they will have a one time, you know, 20% off discount. So if you know somebody who's Rouge, you know, that's a great way to get a 20% off discount if you don't qualify otherwise. Also follow at the beauty seal on Instagram and as some of her members and followers, you know, give her codes to share, she posts them in her stories and the first person to get it, you know, they can have that code. And as soon as if you click the link and it says, oops, the page cannot be found or something like that, then that means that has already been claimed by somebody else. So it's a one-time use though, so something to note there. Now, as for the savings event, the Sephora collection items are going to be 30% off throughout the entire time period of April 14th to April 24th. And I actually picked up a bunch of Sephora collection items over the last couple months, and I've been slowly testing them out along with everything else to see how they hold up in comparison to some of the luxury brands because a lot of their items are manufactured in the same factories as, for example, Dior. So I will have some videos coming up during the sale time, you know, kind of comparing those and there, we'll get to this in a minute, but there's a blush I really wanna try from this Sephora collection that is a new shade. So we'll talk about that. Now, as for the actual percentages, as I mentioned, Rouge members get 20% off and their discount starts on April 14th and goes through the 24th. VIB gets 15% off from the 18th through the 24th and insiders get 10% off from the 18th to the 24th. So anybody can be an insider. If you haven't already signed up, you can at least get 10% off just by signing up for the program from Sephora, their rewards program. So I have a massive detailed guide on Shoplist. So if you go to Shoplist, you can click on Shopping Guides, and those are all my recommendations. I put notes on all of the items. So we're gonna kind of run through and just go over some highlights, as well as what I'm really looking for uh, this time for the Sephora sale. All right, so starting off, everything in this list is alphabetical, and we're not gonna cover everything in the list because it's kind of self-explanatory for some of the items, but uh, let's start off with Alpine Beauty. I have been absolutely loving their lip mask. I use it as a lip balm, either overnight or in the morning. You know, it's just a great, you know, lip balm, and it is in a jar, so, you know, I keep it on my bathroom sink, so I am always sure to, you know, use clean hands and so forth with it. But really enjoying that. I would definitely recommend that. I've also, you know, starting to try and get in shape again. So I've been trying to run in the mornings. And after I run, I get really hot. My face is red for like an hour. Uh, and that's normal for me with any type of exercise. But, but to cool off, I have been putting on the Alpine Beauty uh, Cream Cleanser. So this is like a cold cleanser. I've actually used this, you know, uh, oh, during the winter I was using it to remove makeup and everything as well. So it has like a cream consistency and so forth. It has a bit of a cooling feeling on the skin. And I've been using it to just, I put it on after I work out and then hop in the shower and it really helps, you know, kind of cool me off a little bit. So I'm really enjoying that. Now, my number one item this year for the Sephora is actually the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Powder Blushes. Sorry, I have the hiccups. These have already been released in some other countries, but they will be launching here in the US on the 15th for Rouge members, the 16th for everybody else, and they have five shades available on Sephora right now. So I'm, 
thinking I'm gonna pick up all of those. I'm very, very excited for these. So I would definitely recommend trying those out or you know wait for my review, but I do think that they will go pretty quickly. I've also recommended some other items from Armani, such as the eye tints, their Lip Maestro liquid lipsticks. I noticed that at this time, Sephora does not have the new uh, Lip Maestro satins, which I absolutely love. So I will keep an eye to see if those get added during the sale time, but right now they are not listed there on the website. And I hope they do add them because those are really great. However, I do wanna note that Armani often has a better discount on their own website if you wanna order directly from Armani. Shipping can be a little bit slower from them sometimes, but you can get like 25% off uh, off of items there, sometimes even like 30% off or 40% off of like older items. But a lot of times they do exclude the new items. For example, when the Neo Nude blushes came out, I think the entire first year they were excluded from sales. So, you know, it, you might not be able to get the newest, but you can often get, you know, a 25% discount on many Armani items. I also absolutely love the Lip Power lipsticks, which are on there. And there is a new shade, which I'm con contemplating getting in shade number 107. So unfortunately there's shade 114 available in other countries that I really, really want. But after talking to Armani customer service, it doesn't look like it will be coming to the US. And of course I recommend the Neo Nude blushes. Now also on my list, uh, I use the Beauty Blender Charcoal Black Soap and I need a new one. So that's going in my cart. I have a couple of Biosance items in here. These are just kind of staples I always have around. I use the cleansing oil to remove swatches. I love the Omega Repair Cream for whenever my skin feels like it can't really handle anything. It's like really gentle and basic. Um, and I have used one or two tubes of their sunscreen over the years and it works really well under makeup. It's a nice mineral-based sunscreen. I typically go for sunscreens though that have an SPF of 50 or above. However, you know, I thought this was a nice one. We have some Bobbi Brown items such as the new dual-ended eyeshadow sticks, the single-ended ones. They have some sets which are always a great way to try out colors or if you don't use products up before they go bad. I definitely love mini sizes for that. You know, you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily paying the lowest price per gram, but if you're gonna use it up, it's a less expensive price than if you end up throwing away product anyway. So I think that's a great deal. The Bobbi Brown Lux lipsticks I put on here, I think these are nice, but they're not my favorite. But if you do like a cream lipstick, they're a nice version of a traditional cream lipstick. And I do really like the Bobbi Brown uh, Instant Full Cover Concealer. I think that's a nice one. And I am still working on my um, concealer video. I had more than I thought. So uh, that's coming and I will try to have that up before the sale period ends. So just a couple other Bobbi Brown items on there. I do really like their Quartz Glow and Pink Glow highlighters. But Bobbi Brown, again, is another brand that if you buy directly from their website, you can often get better deals, get gift with purchases and so forth. And they have these new face palettes coming out that have like a bronzer, blush, and highlighter in there. And I really can't wait for those. So it might be a good idea if you're looking, for example, the Pink Glow highlighter, which always comes in a palette, you know, you might want to wait for something like that. Next, we have a few hair care items. Uh, Brio Geo, they have the Scalp Revival Scalp Soothing Solution Set, and I have psoriasis, which is mostly in my hairline, and I like their uh, charcoal mask shampoo product. That's in here, and you also get, you know, one of the massaging tools and some other products, so I think this is a good deal, so I'll get that. I'm looking at their conditioner, although I just bought a whole bunch of new Philip B. Uh, hair products, so I'm gonna try and hold off on that, but I might end up picking it up towards the end of the sale. And then the Bumble and Bumble Repair Blow Dry is kind of a go-to product that I've used for years. After I get a shower, I just you know comb my hair and then put it in, let it air dry usually, or blow dry it out. Obviously, it works better if you blow dry it, but I typically go in with the uh, Dyson Air Wrap once it dries, and that does seem to help reduce frizz when I use that. However, my go-to is an Orbe product, which we'll get to. I have a few Charlotte Tilbury items on the list. The one that really stands out to me is uh, if you're looking for a different color mascara, the Dream Pop mascara, I think it's a really great color. It's kind of one of those reddish browns, and I, I, th I think that's really nice. 
Crown Affair is a brand that's new to me. Please, if you've tried that, let me know what you think of it. It has rave reviews on Sephora, but you know, I haven't tried it yet. So I'm thinking of trying something from there. Again, that's another hair care brand. On my list actually are a lot of hair care items because I feel like that's where there are a lot of new items I haven't already tried. I have some Danessa Myricks items on the list. The thing that really stands out would be the Blurring Balm Powder Blushes. However, I do prefer the Armani Neo Nude over those, so I think those are a nice option though as well. Moving on to Dior, the Lip Maximizers. I think those are a great new product. You know, they, I mean, it's been recently reformulated, which is what I mean by new, but they've got some really great shades in there and I really enjoy the ones I have. I'm still waiting for the ones for the summer collection to drop and hopefully they'll add some of those summer items to the Sephora website during the sale because uh, otherwise you wanna look for them at a department store sale. Of course, I have some other, you know, classic Dior items on there, such as their lipsticks, the Dior Attic Shines. They also have the new cases, aside from the one that's $50 and exclusive to the Dior website, the Burgundy Oblique. Um, and then some of the classic permanent eyeshadow palettes, you know, denim in particular is a favorite, as well as like soft cashmere. So uh, yeah, those are definitely on there. I also noticed that their powder foundation, which I thought was nice, but I don't have the perfect shade in the one that I picked up, they've added new shades. So, you know, if you were looking at the shades before and you didn't have a match, you might have a match now. So they've just kind of expanded their color range a little bit in the powder foundation. Dyson, I've already mentioned, I love the Dyson Airwrap. I also have a hair dryer. I don't use that that frequently. I will use it, um, you know, I don't blow my hair, I don't blow dry my hair that frequently. But when I do, I'll use the hair dryer. However, the Dyson Airwrap really does everything. So for me, that's all you need. And they now have the Shark uh, product here at Sephora as well. So, you know, if you're looking for something a little less expensive, the Shark might be a great option. I haven't been able to try that yet. But the Dyson Airwrap, they are now selling the long attachments separately and they are available at Sephora. I like the long ones before you had to get them from Dyson directly. So they now have them at Sephora and the new ones should also work on the old base. So, you know, even if you have an older version, the new attachments still work. Everything's interchangeable. Moving on to Givenchy. I think Givenchy is a very underrated brand. I absolutely love their lipsticks. The sheer velvets are still one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas. The deep velvets are still my favorite velvet formula lipstick. It's a creamy velvet, really great. You know, I've talked about them a lot, so I don't want to go on too much about them. They do have the new Silk Intense Satin Matte Lipsticks. I think those are nice. They're not really... A, to me, they're not really a true satin matte. They're a little more satin than a true satin matte. Uh, but I think those are nice. For me, they're not quite as up there as the velvet lines from them, but I think they're really great. And I love their liquid lip balms, the lip liners, the powder, and so forth. The green corrector I think is really nice if you're looking for a very sheer green corrector. It's not gonna provide a ton of coverage, however. And I do really like the new Givenchy concealer, but I don't like it as an under eye concealer. I like it for one of those, you know, all over coverage concealers that you're using in place of foundation. Moving on to Gucci, the Gucci blushes, still absolutely love them. Shade number five is, you know, my favorite. So if you had to pick up one, that's the one that I would recommend. I really like that one a lot. And then we also have the Gucci Balm, which, you know, you can use this as a lip balm. It's not super effective as a lip balm because it's kind of, you know, firmer, waxier kind of product. But this is really great kind of as a hair pomade. You know, if you have like frizz or a flyaway, uh, you know, that works really well for that. And that was a tip from one of my viewers. So thank you so much. And of course, my number one item from Gucci is the Gucci bronzer. It is still my favorite. However, I am enjoying a couple other new bronzers. So uh, the Hermes is one, the shade is not great on that, but I'm really enjoying the Pat McGrath bronzer. And I have the shade Nude Honey, which is not available on Sephora, but the other shades, or several of the other shades are available at Sephora. So, Another thing that you might want to consider picking up as well as the Gucci nail polishes, including the new shades. And yeah, I have the fuchsia. I really like that one. 
if you're looking for a liquid lipstick. I think the Gucci one is really nice. And then moving on to Guerlain, we have some new items from Guerlain there as well. So I haven't seen the new eyeshadow palette there for summer. However, they do have the new limited edition luminizers, except for the pink shade. They have the new Kiss Kiss Beak Glow uh, lip balm in the Blossom Kiss, or what are they, Blossom Glow they're calling it. That is set to arrive sometime, hopefully during the sale. It doesn't have a date there at this time, but it is listed there, you know, um, as coming soon. So that I would highly recommend. I might actually pick up a backup of that because I've literally been wearing it like every day since I received that. They also have the new Guerlain Terracotta Latent Foundation, which is great, has a beautiful powder finish. Uh, but the shades do run a little warm and, you know, um, just a little bit deeper. So overall, really some great things from Guerlain. Best place to buy Guerlain would either be during this sale or a department store sale if you can find something, you know, at Saks or Neiman Marcus or something like that. Also from Guerlain, some of my other favorites, we've got the Aqua Allegorias. Ban uh, Mandarin Basilic is my favorite, followed by the Flora Salvagia. And I also like the Peregrinita. Those are kind of my top three from the Aqua Allegoria line. And I absolutely love those. I also love the Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks. I wear those a lot during the summer. And then something I'm interested in trying from Habit Skin. Let me know if anybody has tried this. It's a facial sunscreen with SPF 41, but just a nice way to kind of refresh your SPF when you're wearing makeup. Then we have some items from House Labs, Hourglass, and so forth, Ilia. From Ilia, I would highly recommend their Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oils. I love those. Maybe Violet and Only You are my favorites. I have about um, maybe like four of them. I think there are like two others that I might pick up during the sale. And then we also have a new Killian fragrance, Can't Stop Loving You. So that's available at Sephora. I actually just ordered that during one of the other department store sales. So it's actually the same price uh, as getting the 20% off from Sephora, but I'll have that. It should be delivered some, hopefully this week. And I uh, can't wait to try that out. So I blind bought it. So I'm hoping I like it because I don't typically blind buy fragrances, but I just, I've been looking at it so long and I was too lazy to go to the store, to be honest. Another brand I'm interested in trying is Macrine Actives. So this is on my wish list. Honestly, I'm kind of inundated with skincare right now, so I'm probably not going to pick up anything from here right now, but I'm considering it. It looks like a really great brand. I've always heard really positive things about the brand. If you have any favorites, please let me know down below in the comments. And then moving on, Makeup by Mario, my favorite item from there is actually the Soft Glow Highlighter in Opal. I really like that one. It looks white, but there's actually a little bit of soft gold in it. And then the Milk Cream Blushes, I love the blush light in Honey Thief and Pink Sand. Those are two I like. They have a lot of shimmery ones as well. We have the new Merit Lip Gelés, which I think are a great lightweight you know, lip oil, very sheer color. Really enjoying those. We've got some classic items from Natasha Denona. And then we also have some candles. So I bought a whole bunch of candles during the last Sephora sale, so I've been slowly going through them. I'm really enjoying some of the Nest candles I picked up, like the Himalayan Salt and Rose Water. That one's really great. The Sicilian Tangerine and the Grapefruit Candle. So those are three that I've really been enjoying. Moving on to Orbe, they have the Imperial Blowout Transformative Styling Cream. That has be become my go-to hair product. After I get out, I put a little bit in my hair, like at the roots, and I let it air dry. It adds a little bit of volume for me, adds some heat protection when I go in with the air wrap. So I'm gonna get another bottle of that. And then as I mentioned, Pat McGrath does have the new bronzers available. So, um, you know, if your shade is there, it's a good opportunity to get it. However, Pat McGrath items, you can get a better deal on her website when she does her big sales. You can get like 30% off and so forth. So just something to note, but I know a lot of people do prefer ordering Pat McGrath from Sephora because shipping has been issue with their brand in the past. And I'm interrupting this list because the Killian fragrance was just delivered. So let me just do a quick smell. All right, so this is how it comes packaged. So you've got a nice box here, hinges open. Here is the fragrance. And this is the bottle. 
It has already been a couple of minutes since I sprayed it and I've let it dry down a little bit so we can kind of get an idea of that. And right now, let's just take a quick look at the Sephora description of it. So the keynotes are orange blossom, ciste, laudanum, and vanilla. And the fragrance description says it opens with the narcotic orange blossom flower alongside with paradisone, an ethereal jasmine compound, which suggests pure paradise. Its heart is incredibly suave, featuring honey from Provence, a new ingredient in the Killian Paris repertoire for a delicious French touch. Vanilla Absolute from Madagascar adds a doubly gourmand incitement to pleasure, while notes of oak moss bring an earthy intensity. Finally, incense extract from Somalia lends sensuality, volume, and endless mystery. So when I first sprayed it and opened it up, the first thing that it reminded me of was a slightly less sweet Love Don't Be Shy. It doesn't really have that marshmallow scent, but the rem the rest of it is kind of there. So you can kind of smell that. And when I first sprayed it, you know, I could really smell a lot more of the floral. And then now that it has dried down, I can smell some of the orange blossom. I smell a little bit more of the vanilla. It's not an overpowering vanilla. It's like slightly there. And I definitely smell something. And I can smell something a little spicy. I'm not sure if that's the incense or what it is in particular. I looked up what the Siste Labdanum is, and that is gum rock rose. So that's another floral. Uh, and that's not really what I think I'm smelling. So overall, though, it's a kind of like a spicy, warm floral scent but it's very soft and light so it's definitely not as strong as love don't be shy that one I find to be a very strong perfume and you know it's something I actually don't like to wear during the summer because it's just becomes a little too overpowering whereas this is light enough that I would feel comfortable wearing it so overall I think I like it I'll have to wear it a little bit more but um, you know I think it smells pretty nice so I, that would stay on my recommendation list but I never recommend blind buying a perfume like I did. So uh, definitely try and smell it in person first. Now moving on, Ranavat, that, that is a brand that so far all I've tried is this Jasmine Hydrating Mist, which I really like. I actually use this to spray my eyeshadow brushes if I wanna dampen a brush, but uh, I've also used this in the past for you know refreshing my skin uh, during the summer and so forth. So uh, I do, I think that's really nice, um, but their Fortifying Hair Serum is on my wish list. I've heard very good things about that. They've got some other things that look really great from the brand, but again, I'm kind of in over overwhelmed with a lot of skincare right now so um right now I'm trying not to focus too much on that and then we have RMS the RMS blushes of course are on my list I absolutely love those if you want a shimmery blush which I think is perfect for summer really you know highly recommend these I think they are better than a lot of the luxury uh shimmery blushes personally so and they don't seem that glittery it's like finely melt so I also like the RMS Eye Lights. If you're looking for a cream eyeshadow, those are pretty nice. We've got a couple things from Rose Ink. I did order a set of their little lipsticks to try. So I tried one once before a while back um, and I liked it. So I ordered a little set to try. Uh, I think I just had a sample or something that I had used. Another product I wanted to highlight is the Say Hydra Beam Under Eye Concealer. So this is a brightening concealer. I absolutely love this. It performs so well. Texture's great. I really like the color. I have shade HB, HB1. And yeah, I think it's a really great concealer. I highly recommend that. And I, yeah, I would pick up a second tube if I needed it. I'm not quite there yet. Then moving on to Sephora collection. So I haven't gone through enough of the products yet to say what in particular I recommend from that. I would recommend this blush, but I guess they have discontinued their blushes. I just picked this up in my store. It was out of stock online, so I found it in my Sephora store, but it looks like they've discontinued these and they have new ones now because they're now on the website and they have a shade that looks like this. And this one here is number 14, Over the Moon. And the new shade is sold out online. I don't know if it was ever available, um, but it's 51, Trust Yourself. And I have to say they've added um, this new blush line from Sephora on the website. When I started doing this guide a few days back, they had like four or five blushes and that was it. And now they have a whole bunch. So they're definitely adding to it. So hopefully, 
you know, these will be coming out. I have to say, um, the opening on this is kind of a pain in the butt. I never get this open right. Um, you have to grip it. All right, so packaging on this sucks. <laughs> so I got it open, but um, this black part is supposed to be down here because now my pan is just loose. So I don't know. I'll have to play with that later. But anyway, here's the shade Over the Moon. And the new shade is going to be called 51 Trust Yourself. But it looks it looks like it's going to be like the same shade. So here's Over the Moon. You can see it's going to be a light pinky purple. And I wanted to compare that to the Suku 105, which I'm still wearing all the time. So this is my closest match for it. It's not the same. The Suku still has a bit more of a sheen. It's got a little bit more pearlescence to it. You know, um, I think there's a little bit more pink in the Suku as well, but they're really close. This is definitely a close dupe. Formula wise, the Suku formula blows it out of the water. This is, you know, it's, it's not the best formula or anything in my opinion, but the color makes it worth purchasing. So I would definitely, you know, if you're looking for something like the Suku 105, then I would take a look at 51 Trust Yourself from the Sephora Collection Blushes. And I will be picking that up and I will swatch them and compare them all, uh, you know, on my channel. So definitely I think it's worth looking into few other things that I would recommend. Now, just something to note, Sephora Collection is 30% off for everyone, but the Sephora Favorite sets are not part of Sephora Collection, so those go under your regular, you know, Rouge VIB Insider tiers. So every year they have the sun safety kit and you can try a whole bunch of different sunscreens. There are some full sizes, some minis and so forth. I think this is a great set. I always pick it up every year uh, when I can get it on sale. I think it's totally worth it because you can try a whole bunch of different brands, but then you also have all these like little minis that are great to travel with or, you know, throw one in your purse. So um, yeah, that's on my list. We also have, I went through their sets. The only other one that I really thought was, you know, worth it was the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up Beauty Set. So this is a nice set if you wanna try a few different products, uh, you know, clean beauty products. So they have some Lawless and Give Beauty Tower 28, which, you know, aren't I'm not super interested in personally. But then they have the Necessaire Body Lotion, they have um, the, a Rose Ink Blush and so forth, which I like the Rose Ink Blushes. I think those are a really nice cream blush really interesting texture. So uh, yeah, you know, overall, I think it seems like a good set to get if you can get the additional discount on top of that, because you do have, you know, some full size products in there as well. And the two full size products would be the Rose Ink Blush, and that's going to be in the color Delphine, and then a Tower 28 mascara, which I have not tried, but I actually did hear that the mascara was pretty good. As I mentioned earlier, if you have been looking at the Dyson, but you just can't bring yourself to spend that much on a hair device, which was me for several years, uh, the Shark Beauty is now at Sephora. So if you can get that on discount, oh, even better. And you know, it seems really good. I have only heard positive things about it. So, you know, you, it can basically do everything the Dyson Airwrap can do. So uh, I think it's definitely worth looking into. If I didn't already have the Dyson Airwrap, I would probably buy the Shark and just see how it does. Then we have some things from Shiseido. A couple things I wanted to highlight. They do have their Ultimate Sun Protector uh, SPF Duo back again. This is a limited edition set that they usually come out with every year where you get a big one and like a mini one. Those are the sunscreen and the blue bottle. I usually pick that up every year. So I think that's worth getting. And then they have a new sunscreen, which I think I'm going to add to my cart. It's SPF 42, but it's the Urban Environment Vita Clear Sunscreen. So I think this one looks pretty good. It has vitamin C in there as well. So it's supposed to be a little brightening. And, um, you know, I think it's worth trying. So that is on my list. And... Then we have a new to me brand. So my friend Jen from Just Glow Firefly, she has used this brand. She really recommends it. She lives on a beach. So, you know, she she's pretty good about her SPF. So Soleil Toujours is a brand with, you know, SPF products. So it's mostly like skincare, you know, and stuff like that. But there in, in particular, there is a body lotion with SPF that I want to get. 
they have two versions. There's a tinted and a non-tinted version. And then there is an SPF eye cream, which she has raved about. So I wanna try that, that's in my cart. And there is an SPF lip balm that also gets really great reviews. So that's in my cart as well. So I definitely wanna try those. Super Goop, um, you know, sometimes you can get a better deal from the Super Goop website. They usually do like a friends and family, but some years it's the same percentage. So if you're Rouge, you know, it's kind of about the same. Also, Super Goop is sold at Nordstrom. So during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, that can be a really good time too. Usually the price is about the same though after the discount because what I buy is the Play Everyday Lotion in the big pump bottle. I keep that on my counter, you know, on the way out the door, everybody can put on their sunscreen so they don't forget. So um, yeah, you know, that's what I purchased from Super Goop. Another brand that is new to me is Super Zero. I'd love to know if anybody's tried this. These are shampoo and conditioning bars. And I love the concept. They have good reviews on Sephora. Thinking of trying those, there's another shampoo bar brand also on Sephora that I wanna try called, uh, what is it, Viore, I think it was. Oh, we'll get to that when we get to the Vs. But um, yeah, I might pick up one from each and just see how they compare. Tatcha, you know, you can often get, you know, a good deal on Tatcha from their website as well. So, you know, unless you're Rouge, I would wait for one of their deals instead. But uh, my favorite product from them, well, one of my favorite products from them is the Indigo Overnight Repair Serum and Cream Treatment. So that's the blue jar. This is like a heavyweight moisturizer. I will use it overnight. I'll use it during the winter. I'll use it, you know, during the daytime. But I just think it's a really nice moisturizer. I'm almost out of it, but since summer's coming, I'll probably wait till the fall before I pick up another one. However, if you're interested in that, they have a set called the Strengthening Nighttime Ritual Set. So it's $3 more than purchasing the moisturizer on its own. And you get, uh, you know, like a travel size of the uh, eye cream and the essence. So totally worth getting the set over the individual. Another thing, the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen. I thought that was a really nice sunscreen. I went through uh, the bigger bottle of that. They have two sizes. I really like that one. It works really well under sunscreen. It is tinted, so just something to know, but I think that's great. And there were a couple, you know, there's another set there of the mini favorites I thought was a good deal. And probably my number one product from Tatcha is the Camellia Cleansing Oil. I use this every night to remove my makeup. So I have two backups or I would be picking up another one. All right, just smelling the Killian fragrance. Again, again, this one's called Can't Stop Loving You. And really what I'm smelling is orange blossom with a hint of vanilla. And I like it personally, but I love orange blossom. So moving on, we've got a few things from Tom Ford. If they get the new quads there, I think that would be worth looking into. I picked up Hazy Sensuality, which is what's actually on my eyes right now. I'll have a review on this soon, but I do really like the Hazy Sensuality. They have uh, two other ones, Golden Hour and Peach Dawn or Peachy Dawn. I didn't pick those up. I don't know if I will or if I won't. If they come to Sephora and they're on sale, I might pick up Golden Hour. But some other things that I just wanna highlight from Tom Ford, the Shade and Illuminate Highlighting Duos. Peach Light is one of my favorite highlighters. I think that one's really great. Uh, and another thing, by the way, they have Velour Khaki, um, the eyeshadow quad at Sephora right now, so that's worth getting. But I feel like nobody talks about the Tom Ford blush duos anymore, and they're one of my favorites. I love their blushes. They give you a little bit of a blurring effect on the cheeks. I think they're perfect for, you know, people who have a little bit of texture on their cheeks because it doesn't really emphasize it. It's got more of a matte finish. I think they are fantastic. And I'm actually wearing one today, Brazen Rose. It's the one I wear the most. Uh, so that's on my list, as well as the Soleil Eye and Cheek duo that came out last summer. That's like a really beautiful, like summery coral shade and different formula, but I really love that one as well. And that one has a bit more of a sheen. So I just wanted to mention those because I feel like nobody really talks about those anymore, but they are, I think, some really great products. Moving on to Tower 28. I don't love Tower 28 products personally. However, they are at a less expensive price point. So if you're looking for something in like a fun color that maybe you don't wanna pay luxury beauty prices for, um, then Tower 28, is, that's what I use them for. And so, you know, I think their cream blushes are great for that if you want something in a more fun color. And they have a new 
duo set. It's a uh, lip gloss and cream blush in mauve. And I might pick that one up. I haven't decided because again, I, let's face it, I'm not wanting for any new makeup right now. Yeah, I have plenty. So another thing that I've really wanted to mention, the Valentino concealer, still one of my favorites. And I absolutely love this. It might, I don't know, it might be my number one right now. But that is definitely on my recommendation list. And the Valentino blushes, I really like them. I've only, I only have one so far. Well, I have another one that I bought, but I haven't opened yet. I might pick up more, you know, because every time the Sephora sale, these blushes sell out like right away. So that's what happened to me last time. I had like a few in my cart and they sold out as soon as the sale started. So um, yeah, I might get some more. We'll see. And their lipsticks, I think, are really great as well. So I'm actually wearing one of my favorites right now. It's 123R. And they just released a whole bunch of new nude lipsticks. They're more brown in tone. I did pick all of those up. They're exclusive to the Valentino site right now, but if they pop up at Sephora during the sale, that's a great opportunity. I'll have a video on those relatively soon. And yes, here is the other hair care shampoo bar brand that I was talking about, so Viore. And I'm just really curious how this compares to the Super Zero. They both have, you know, great reviews on Sephora, but there are more reviews of Super Zero than there are of Viore right now. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to see, but I'm interested in that. So I might pick up something from both of those. The Virtue 6-in-1 Styler, that seemed like an interesting product. I actually already picked that up. I haven't tried it yet. And the Valespa, or Voluspa, I'm not sure which way they like that pronounced, uh, they have the Mini Spring Tin Candle Set. And I have smelled those because I picked up one of the sets from the one of the holiday sets that had those fragrances in there. And yeah, they smell good, but I haven't burned them yet, so can't say for sure. Westman Atelier, you know, I think they've got quite a few products here. In my Sephora store, they still have the little mini uh, contour stick and blush duo that you can either buy them separately or they have a little, they have a little set with those. I don't see it online anymore, but you might have it in your store. And I think that's a really good deal to get the little mini sizes so you can use it all the way up before, you know, it goes bad. However, I have to say none of my Westman Atelier blushes or stick products have gone bad yet and it's been several years. So out of the West Manitelli stuff, you know, things that I'd recommend, I, I really like their foundation stick. I really like their blush sticks. They have a new lit up highlighter stick. It's not brand new right now. It's the shade Parla. This actually came out like a year ago in one of the, uh, you know, special limited edition kits, but I had everything except the highlighter. So I didn't purchase the set. Now they have it individually. So I might pick that up because I've heard it's really beautiful. They also have the West Manitelli powders, which I'm still really enjoying. Um, you know, I like those just very gently pressed into the skin or dust it over with a fluffy brush, but you only need the tiniest bit. And yeah, it's really, you know, a nice blurring powder. So like those, I've got the West Manitelli brushes on there. I actually used the blender brush here for foundation today. I think it's a nice brush. I do think though that in general, if you look at Coyoto, uh, you can find like the same shapes and sizes and everything also in synthetic fibers for less expensive prices. So I do kind of think that they can be a little overpriced. However, some of my favorites um, from them would be their eyeshadow brushes. I really do like their eyeshadow brushes because they're just a little bit different. They're great to travel with if you're looking for easy looks and you only want to take two things with you. So I think those are good. YSL, I picked up the new brown lash clash. You can get some better deals on the YSL website to provide it, you know, you get up to their free shipping minimum. So that, uh, the new halo tint highlighter, I'm wearing that again today. I'm really liking that. So uh, I think it's a really nice subtle cream highlighter. I also ordered one of the Candy Glaze or one or two of the Candy Glaze lip gloss sticks. Uh, they're always sold out in the colors I wanted, but I finally got those. I haven't tried them yet. And then, yeah, there are lipsticks, the bold lipsticks and the Rouge Volupte shines. I like those as well. So I'm personally not a fan of the YSL Slim Mattes. I find them to be drying, but there are glossy lipsticks I enjoy. So those are my highlights from the Sephora sale. Again, I have a very thorough list of recommendations 
on Shoplist. So if you are not familiar with Shoplist, you know, you can go to my page there. I post, you know, on the front page there, you've got like the April releases or the monthly new releases. Then we also have like sales and promos, but there are tabs at the top. One of them is shopping guides. We also have posts and so forth where all of these videos are. But in the shopping guides, those are my recommendation list. So I've got a Sephora guide in there and it has details about all the products, what I've tried, what I wanna try, things like that. So if you are curious about anything, please you know, let me know and definitely check out the guide. So I hope this was helpful and I would love to know what is on your shopping list or if you are abstaining from the sale. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day.